Google's new quantum chip is this many times faster than the world's fastest supercomputer. But why does it even matter? Let's talk quantum computing. Now, the most fundamental unit of regular computers are logical bits. They represent either a 1 or a 0. And for better performance, chip manufacturers try to reduce the size of these bits because the smaller a bit or transistor gets, the more we can fit in a single CPU. So, the smallest bit right now is about 3 nanometers. That's roughly equal to just 14 atoms. And that's the next biggest problem in computing. We are reaching a physical limit to how small our regular bits can get. So the next obvious step is to make bits smaller than atoms, which means, you guess it right, a quantum computer. Now, unlike regular computers, bits which can be 0 or 1, quantum bits or qubits can be 0 or 1 or both at the same time, which is basically a superpower and a problem. Because being in both states means theoretically, you could increase the output of a single bit by a lot of time. But keeping them stable or in a one state, which is either 1 or 0, is very difficult. And that's what Google's quantum team has achieved. They have maintained a stable state of qubits for 100 plus seconds and that is how with just 105 qubits it can outperform the fastest supercomputer which has over billions and trillions of regular bits well theoretically at least did we break your brains already let us know in the comments below